It's uh, 15th of June 2010 and I'm at uh, the road just at Binnie Craig here uh, just showing how far I've walked so far from the trees on the left hand side there of the road uh, and way in the distance we can see Arthur's Seat uh, in the centre of Edinburgh and here's when I'm hoping to climb to the top of today, Binnie Craig I've been saying I'm going to do it for some time now uh, this is the pedestrian, start of pedestrian footpath across so how successful we're going to be we'll find out uh, if we've got enough energy left after I've done it or I've you know, given up on doing it we might see if we man and I go across to Lothgo March's final parade this evening but that's the scene setting for as I say my climb hopefully to the top of Binnie Craig something I've been saying I'm doing for a long time so I'm looking forward to the views uh, if we're going to get there I've brought the binoculars with me and uh, we'll see uh, what we can see when we get there and now this, this just puts Benny Craig in full perspective. I've just climbed about at least a hundred cobblestones, climbing <laughs> quite steeply up through a narrow gorge. Quite daunting, a bit kind of intimidating in actual fact. We're now at a little uh, parkway here at the entrance to Benny Craig itself. And there you can see Arthur's seat again, way in the, in the background there. And in the forefront are the red hills of Broxburn, the shale of Broxburn. And I'm going to swing round to Benny Craig itself. And, uh, pretty sunny here so I'm going to come back a bit. Yeah that puts Benny Craig in its own perspective now. A very very daunting climb. I'm not sure I'm going to, I'm going to do it in actual fact. It really looks pretty steep up there. Uh, I can't even see a footpath up to the top. So I'll walk up. I think the footpath might be from that gate up the hillway. I'll go and have a look but uh, as I say I'm going to maybe have to leave this for another day. It just looks uh, very very daunting. I'll go and have a look. And believe it or not I've made it to the very top. I'm pointing towards now Arthur's seat again. I'm not sure if you'll pick it up with the zoom on the camera. It's quite clear on the wild naked eye and by binoculars. But coming around I can also see the Berwick Law which again you can see quite clearly by naked eye and binoculars. I'm not sure with the camera. We can see the island of Inchkeith, which sits off Burnt Island in the fourth there. And of course the Fourth Bridges are there as well. The town of Rasyth. And it's a spectacular view uh, looking east, just panning back round again to Arthur's Seat and of course the Pentland Hills as well. Uh, coming the other direction, we will able to see here we're standing on the rock face facing west of Binny Craig. And say we're right at the very top. There is the pole which marks the very top. I'm going to zoom back now. Just to prove I was here, you can see this pole from the road which is across in that direction. Again, we're looking up towards Livingston. I can just see the top of Cameron Iron what's drifting up there. Looking west, it's not such nearly a good view because the kind of Lothian hills are blocking the view. But uh, if I look this way, Again, doing a bit of zoom, we can see Grangemouth there, and I think we can see Ben Laws away, way in the distance uh, behind Grangemouth there. Uh, and uh, I say, I'm, I'm glad I made the, the climb up. It's been quite daunting, a macho fight. <laughs> a wee bit nervous about the climb back down. Again, to put that in perspective looking down to that corner there that's where I took the last video looking at the Arthur's seat and that's the level and size of the climb I've had but uh, I said I was going to do it for a long time and I've done it, I'm glad I've done it uh, I'll walk back down to the golf course and just almost see the flag at the golf club, that's where my car's parked so I've got quite a walk to get back but uh, I'm going to sit down for a wee rest for 5 or 10 minutes I'm kidding Yeah, see, I'm just saying I'm a bit scared that getting down is going to be more hazardous than getting up, but uh, I'll just give Marion a ring to let her know where I am, in case anything happens to me, she'll know where to come and find me. <laughs> Over and out for now. One final point I should have mentioned in Benny Craig just before signing off is that, like its sister Arthur's seat, 
it is a volcanic outcrop. You see all the volcanic rock here and it goes back, well God knows how many thousands of centuries or many thousands of centuries, hundreds of certain centuries, thousands, like Arthur's Seat. I don't think it's got any historical significance other than, other than as a landmark because it's a volcanic outcrop, as I say. Uh, I'll just an equal sister to Arthur's Seat. So that was just to put that little bit of fact uh, down as well in the video diary. And that's definitely it for today. I'm now going to... I'll just go to the edge here. And have a look down the way. As we can see, it is pretty steep. So <laughs> I phoned Mary to let her know where I am. And if she doesn't hear from me in the next hour, she'll put a, a search party for me. <laughs> Over now. And I did make it back down safely. Uh, it stands about uh, 600 to 700 feet uh, off ground level and manages to the top and back down. Not bad for a 65 year old, not a bit out of breath. And I'm quite pleased with all that. Uh, it's been something I've been planning to do for a wee while and got there. Uh, as I said previously, uh, Benny Craig or Crag was formed at the same time by Ice Age movements as Edinburgh Castle and Stirling Castle and Salisbury Crag, so it's got its own historical significance. And just finally on its historical significance, some centuries ago, because of its sort of visual presence in the area, it was used as a warning beacon point uh, for uh, invading armies, the English and French. The burning bales of wool in the top, one bale said, we suspect the enemies in the area two bales was they are approaching and three ba four bales in actual fact was they are here in great force. It was also used for a celebration bonfire to celebrate Queen Victoria's uh, Diamond Jubilee in 1897. So it's had some uh, presence in the area in the, the past and it's now just a landmark and for folks like myself to climb and have a look around. So there we are.